In this video of dotted framework, we are going to cover another important aspect which will be responsible for the execution of any program written in dotted framework that is common language runtime. As in the introduction as well we have noticed like CLR is the one which will allow any dotted written program to get executed. So let's go through some more features of it. So like it's a virtual machine which will behave as a runtime engine for the dotted framework. Apart from that, whatever the code it will get, like generally in CLR, it gets the MSIL, that is the Microsoft Intermediate Language, which is the result of the first phase compilation done by the specific language compiler. So in the runtime under the CLR, the JIT, the just-in-time is the compiler which actually takes that intermediate code and then uh, compile it to the machine language. And whichever code which CLR ensures the execution is called the managed code. Like there are two types of code when I talk about the .NET framework. One is unmanaged and another one is managed code. So majorly we will focus on the managed code itself. We will talk about the unmanaged code in our coming videos. So for that particular managed code, what it will do? It will simply compile it with the JIT that is just in time compiler and resultant it will compile it to the machine code which any operating system can understand and can start the execution so that a developer can achieve the output for which he is looking for. Due to the CLR, we do have some more features which can be termed as the cross language integration which we have learned so many times before as well. Exception handling. Exception handling means if you are working in a managed code and you are doing something which is not possible or not safe for the execution. For example, if you are taking an array of 10 elements and you try to access the 11th element, that particular memory block may be occupied by some other thing as well. So what this CLR will do? It will not allow the managed code to do such tasks which may harm the machine or your program. So resultant, it will throw an exception and which we will have to handle. Enhances the security in the very same way itself and development deployment support like versioning of the assemblies and many more things. So this is all can be done by this common language runtime in your .NET framework. Apart from that, we do have some more features here like it improves the performance of the program. As in the previous video where we have seen the compilation process, we notice like in runtime, just in time compiler only compiles the required code. So doesn't matter how big your application is, but at the execution time, only that required code will be compiled and will be executed. So it will ensure the performance benefits out there. Along with the ability to use other languages like if you have some assemblies which may be written in some other language, you may use that as well in your current application. It also supports some runtime features of object oriented programming such as inheritance, overloading, method overriding, dynamic polymorphism that we call or interfaces. So in object oriented programming generally we have the things which needs to be implemented at runtime and CLR will give a definite support for those features as well. Allows creation of multi-threaded and scalable applications. Multi-threading something like when you want to go for the concurrent task at a time you can achieve it by the multi-threading and in order to make the scalable applications you can also give us uh, the CLR is going to help you for that as well. For topics like the inheritance interfaces, overloading, multi-threading, you can follow our c -sharp video tutorial where we have discussed deeply about those topics. And uh, finally, it is about the garbage collection. In a programming, whenever you execute a program, some memory out of the main memory that is in RAM got executed, got occupied. Now, as soon as your program is terminated, it is the responsibility that we need to 
uh, remove or we need to free that particular memory space as well. So if you are working in .NET framework, being a developer, you don't have to focus on such things as the garbage collection feature of your CLR will ensure that all the memories would be removed once it is of no use. So this is about the common language runtime using which you can make some wonderful usage of your .NET framework.